Hi, this is Scott Minchuk with CDS TV. And have you ever found yourself stuck in a drop-off zone? The senior life gets pretty crazy in the morning. The parents are always out there and they're always in the way. They have no sense of direction. I mean, I go there in the morning and run in the morning and it's just trying to get out it takes 10 minutes trying to back up. It's terrible. I'm sick of it. Student drivers and their parents have the constant battle of getting to school on time and keeping traffic flowing. I'm late constantly. I've my first period's a mess. I can never get there on time to do my assignments. My first period teacher is angry at me. He threatened to kick me out of his class because I'm late, just because of the parents. And to be honest, I hate it. The reason for the drop-off zone is to help everyone get in and out of school, but too many times people disregard the signs. So what should be done about these drop-off zones? Security guards are urging parents more and more to follow the signs and cones so that student drivers will still be able to get to their spots and parents can get out of the lots quickly. Parents have to learn to use the drop-off zones and yield to the students passing through the lot and the students getting into their spaces. Students, remember to inform your parents of the drop-off zone rules. I'm Scott Minchuk reporting for CDS-TV.